Well, if you've got one of these next two problems, you might be in despair about ever doing something about it. I'm talking about cellulite and the problem of sweating too much. Well, believe it or not, there is hope for both of them. Joining me now is our plastic surgeon, Dr. Ellie Levine, and our dermatologist, Dr. Jody Levine. Welcome back, so good to see you guys. Good to see you too. All right, so, so cellulite, first of all, is just the bane of so many people's existence, and, and mostly women, right? Is that fair to say? Definitely. Uh, okay, so, but a lot of people just flat out have given up for it. You know, that they've tried creams, they've tried all kinds of treatments, and nothing seems to work, but there is something new, so let's talk about that. Yes, so until now there really wasn't much out there. All the topical things and non-invasive devices really don't work. And now we have a minimally invasive laser device that essentially cuts those bands that are responsible for causing those tethering, that dimpling, and that cottage cheese look, and it allows us to really eliminate uh, cellulite. Right, well, what's really interesting is people don't realize that cellulite is a skin problem. It's not really a fat problem, right? So you can be thin and still have the irregularities of, of cellulite, the lumpy bumpy, because if you squish your leg a certain way, if a woman sits and her leg is squeezed. That can happen, right, yes, Jody? And it's very genetic. Right. So, and, and some people can have more severe than others. All right. So, right. so the cellulase, you have some great before and afters, which I want to get to. So, let's talk about the first one is before and after of, of a patient's backside. So, so, show me what you have here. Right. So, the most common areas that people have are their backside and their hip areas, are probably the most common areas. And the backside, you can just see before and after, there's just a dramatic improvement in it. And this is a time of year where people are really thinking about this because they're thinking of putting on a bathing suit and going mm -hmm. outside and they're a little more self-conscious about it this time of year. Yeah, and they're putting their shorts on which means their thighs are going to be exposed and Correct. thighs are a huge problem for women. Right, and that leads us to our second set of pictures which shows someone's lateral thigh and just kind of the posterior thigh, the back of their thigh. Again, shorts, bathing suits, people really are, are conscious, self-conscious about it and it can be a teenager not that I do the surgery at that mm -hmm. age, but it develops that early on it, through adulthood. Right, it can, it can last. What I like about it though is that now with this treatment, at least it can get really, really dramatic results, which is nice to offer patients. Absolutely. All right, so let's talk about the next thing, Jody, something that, that you deal a lot with, uh, with your patients, and that's too much sweating, or what we call hyperhidrosis. There is kind of a test uh, for that. So let's talk about, we have some pictures of, of what, you know, we do when you get tests for that. So let's start with that. We have pictures of, of an axilla. So, yes. so how does it work? Give me the process. So basically someone will come in and they say they sweat a lot. Their underarms are always wet and it shows through their clothes and they're embarrassed. So the first step is I actually do a test called the starch iodine test. We put some iodine on the underarm and then I follow that by some cornstarch. And the mixture together, when combined with sweat, turns black. Right, so if you have that positive black test, what does that tell you as a physician? Well, first of all, it tells me, A, how much they sweat, and B, where they sweat, because not everyone sweats in the, exactly the same places in their underarms. So then I know exactly where to target, and I do that with Botox. Right, and that's the thing a lot of people may not realize, is that Botox is a treatment for that, and it works very well. So what can people expect if they're gonna get a Botox treatment there? I mean, how much does it take to do, and do they have to come back, all that stuff? Um, it's one, one treatment, lasts in the very beginning about three to four months and as people continue to do Botox for underarm sweating it lasts longer and longer. I have patients who come once a year and it lasts them the whole year. Right, and people might be surprised to find that their insurance companies might cover that procedure, correct? Yes. Which is great, because people think of cosmetics, oh my gosh, you have to pay all that money out of pocket. Right, it is a medical condition. Right, now, now you guys also do a laser procedure for hyperhidrosis, for this uh, sweating. Tell me about that. Right, so some people come in and they, they're really happy with the Botox, but other people say, what can we do to permanently eliminate this, uh, this problem? And I can put a laser underneath the skin through a tiny little opening, about one or two millimeters, and I can essentially vaporize those sweat glands that are responsible for creating both the smell as well as the wetness, and they're gone, and it's a permanent treatment. Which is, which is huge for people, so, so how effective is that? Pretty much effective. It's pretty effective. Right. People are pretty happy with it. And, you know, they Most really of the time. are quite satisfied with it. All right, Dr. Yeah. Ellie Levine and Dr. Jody Levine, thanks so much for coming in. I really appreciate it.